Oh yes. Oh yes. So in the last video I did, I talked about why you might prefer looking at yourself in the mirror than photographs of yourself. There was so much information that I had to break it up into two videos. Today is the second part to that video, which is how to fall in love with photographs of yourself. There's a few things that you can do prior to actually having your photograph taken that will help you fall in love with the photos and also some psychological reasons as to why this could happen as well. Oh, hello. This wasn't even part of it, but I just realized that my lighting was completely off. Oh! <laughs> Let's talk about lighting. If lighting is not right, you're not gonna look right. This looks so much better already. So number one, make sure your lighting is right. <laughs> the most obvious thing is to be prepared for the possibility that a photograph is gonna be taken. More photographs have been taken in the last decade than in history itself. And there's obvious reasons why, because everyone has a camera. So these days you can't really go out without expecting a photograph to be taken of you. So what you can do is to prepare by learning what looks good for you, what kind of poses look good. And even though at first someone might be shoving a camera in your face and it feels very awkward to be like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Head, tilt, legs, down, and you're adjusting yourself, it might take a little while and it will feel super strange. You're gonna get used to being able to do that just like celebrities do. They very quickly can adjust their poses to look perfect whenever a camera is shoved in their face and that's kind of where you wanna get to as well. In the last video, I also talked about the damaging effect of filters, Insta stories, Snapchat filters, and why you should stop using them straight away. If you haven't seen that, make sure you reference back to that old video. There is a link in the bio for that. We all know that we are also our own harshest critic. So if a photograph is snapped of yourself that is horrible and you want to crawl under a bed and die <laughs> just know that most people are not judging you as harshly as what you are judging yourself because most of us have been in a situation where a photograph has been taken of us where we want to die <laughs> so it is not just us and people are much more sympathetic than you give them credit for if you're beating yourself up because a photo has gone out online horrible photo of you don't fret, untag yourself, ask that person to delete it if you can. And if not, it's okay. Most people will just be like, ooh, that was a bad photo of her. And that's it. They're not gonna think long-term badly of you. Of course, then there is also practice. Being able to take a great photograph isn't like something you wake up with and you have the natural skill. Most of us need as much practice and as much help as possible. And if you still don't know about my Advanced Selfie University, make sure you check it out down below. I teach you exactly how to take your own photograph so you finally start feeling good about yourself without anyone's assistance so you can do it in the privacy of your own home and start getting used to photographs of yourself and perfecting them look at old photographs of yourself I remember a conversation with my mom that I had and she told me that when she was younger she really believed she was so ugly and when she grew up she started looking back on photographs of herself and she realized she was actually ridiculously beautiful at the time she was just so much more harsh on herself and it made her lose a lot of beautiful time that she could have had appreciating herself as a human being instead of torturing herself with her own negative beliefs so when i heard that it really struck a chord with me and i made an agreement there and then that i would never do that to myself even if a photograph might be bad i'm just going to be like okay that is temporary that is not me it just happened and i'm always trying to improve the filter that I see of myself, not in a cocky way, but I just want to appreciate the person that I am. And I highly encourage you to do it as well because we live in a harsh world anyway. Why add baggage for ourselves and make us feel bad about ourselves? And that's done through being much kinder to yourself and also learning how to take really great photos of yourself, which will help immensely. It definitely helped my self-esteem a lot. Personality. This is probably the most obvious. <laughs> we as humans, we're attracted to people that are gonna make us feel better about ourselves. So if you are exposed to photographs of people that are smiling, happy, and genuinely loving life, you are gonna love those photos even more. And you won't even care if there's a flaw in them because they're not trying too hard. They're just having a grand time. So for yourself, it's the same thing. Don't make your photographs too posed. I mean, <laughs> my feed is literally all about looking too posed. I'm going for the modelly kind of look, I don't know, whatever. But if you're just trying to take photographs of yourself out with your friends and so forth and just, you know, preserve memories and not look like absolute crap, it is best to just fall in love with the moment. Have the handy little how to pose tips and which face angle is great. But in the end, it is that smile in your face and your eyes and just lighting up and making people around you happy and holding your friends. Those are always gonna be the best photographs that people respond to. 
People love seeing happy people. Most people do, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I can give you as many tips as possible about how to feel better about the photographs that are being taken, but if nothing is helping and nothing is helping you to improve your self-confidence, you are being way too critical about yourself and none of these superficial points are actually gonna help you. If you are paralyzed by your own belief that you're ugly and not deserving and not worthy, it is time to become much nicer to yourself. It is time to become your own best friend. So you've got to look at other psychological ways to get in your brain to alter your state. Holy crap, my phone just fell. <laughs> Maybe I was getting too serious. <laughs> but we are living one life. There is nothing harder than going through life already and hating yourself on top of that is just freaking horrible. So you need to fall in love with yourself. We are all beautiful in our own way. If we all looked like each other, shit was gonna get too boring. And <laughs> I mean, Instagram already is filled with people that look exactly the same. Like you cannot tell the difference between them. And it's boring. If you can embrace your photograph with your own beauty and celebrate your beauty, that is the most important thing. And here are a few examples that just embrace what they have and God damn, you're attracted to their profiles because they have so much confidence. And that's what I hope for you on your journey as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. I've never said that before. <laughs> Here's my Instagram and Twitter if you would like to see more. And until next time, guys.